Epilepsy is a disorder that affects over 65 million people worldwide. It is a condition that affects the brain, in which a person has epileptic seizures. There are over 40 different types of epilepsy, with different types of seizures. Seizure type is grouped by the parts of the brain that are affected and how the activity spreads. Classifying how seizures start on a patient-specific basis can be used to help doctors make decisions about diagnosis and develop personalised treatment plans to improve patients' lives. The way doctors diagnose epilepsy is first to take a detailed description of the seizures. Then, further tests can be done to get information about the possible type and cause of the epilepsy. A common test is to record the person's brain activity using a machine called an electroencephalogram or EEG. This is done by placing small metal sensors called electrodes onto the scalp. These electrodes detect the naturally occurring electrical activity in the brain. When the brain transitions into a seizure, the electrodes detect it as a burst of activity. This is an EEG recording of a seizure that affects the whole brain. This type of epilepsy is called generalised epilepsy. Each dot marks the start of the seizure on that electrode. We show the positions of the electrodes as dots on the head using this top-down view. If we arrange the recording like this, we can see that the seizure spreads in a domino effect. When one region goes into a seizure state, it can cause other regions it is communicating with to transition to. If we pull out the start points for each electrode, we can map the domino effect on the head, like this. We can then show this domino effect in dominoes. Here it is in the real time of the seizure. If you missed it, let's see that again. Let's slow it down to domino speed. People with generalised epilepsy can have several seizures a day. Each seizure could have a different pattern of spread across the brain. This seizure was recorded from the same person just half an hour later, and we can see that there are three electrodes that detect the seizure first. If we pull out the start points from each electrode and map them onto the head, we can see that the first three are at the front of the head. This is called focal onset of a generalised seizure. Let's see this domino effect in dominoes. Here it is in the real time of the seizure. If you missed it, let's see that again. Now, let's slow it down to domino speed. Different seizure onset patterns may give misleading information to the doctor, which can result in delayed or misdiagnosis and the wrong treatment. Understanding how seizures start and spread on a patient-specific basis can be used to help doctors to make decisions about diagnosis and to develop personalised treatment plans to improve patients' lives. Check out my other video to see how I use mathematics and networks to capture these patterns and give more information about how seizures start and spread.